What's up, Raft Gang? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be an unboxing and build of the Insignia, the highly sold out, by the way, on Best Buy Insignia. And I, I'm just glad I got my hands on one. I put my Notify Me when, when in stock. The moment I got that email, it was in, ordered it. Five minutes later, sold out. This thing is hot. Great item, got great reviews. Foldable, works with the, the G29 and the shifter that I bought. So this is all going to work out really, really well, hopefully. So basically it's a, it's a foldable one, so you can fold it when you're not using it, put it away, and then unfold it and put it in front of your chair when you want to use it. So that's perfect for me, because I don't have any room in the raft cave for a full giant rig that's permanent. So this is going to be just fine, so I can unfold it, use it when I want to, put it away when I don't want it, so it's going to be great. Great construction, all steel metal here. You got plates for your pedals down here, shifter here, and then your racing wheel. And this is also adjustable height-wise and stuff, so that's great. So hopefully it works out really well. So Insignia racing wheel stand, stable and foldable racing wheel stand for e-racing competition. Awesome. On the back here, fully compatible with all the game consoles and PC. Compatible with pre-drilled for all major wheels and pedals, including Logitech, Thrustmaster, Fenatech, Fenatech, and more included. Gear shifter support can be used on the left or right side of the stand, perfect. Height adjustable for wheel stand, good. Foldable design allows for easy storage and full range of adjustability for pedal plate. Oh, nice, you can raise it up and down. That's great. Left or right for the shifter and then adjustable up and down for the wheel. This is fantastic. Oh, awesome, this is great. Okay, well, without further ado, guys, you know what time it is. Black pin. Did a lot of research on these uh, rigs. There's a couple different stand I was looking at. Man, they get so expensive, so I was like, man, I'm just gonna get something basic, start out, nothing crazy. I saw the reviews on this. And that was always sold out. I was like, this is the hide item. I'm gonna wait for this. And it just came in, so I was like, man, get it. All right, I'm, I'm so appreciative of this kind of foam and not that nasty white flaky stuff. You know what I mean? It's just the worst. So I appreciate that and say, yeah, thank you. All right, so there's a top piece here. Great protection, great padding. Great shipping packaging, this is great. Oh boy. Come on. Ooh. There we go, yeah. Whew. Okay, here it is. Here, got the popcorn wrapping, the bubble wrap, very nice. All right, all sealed, nice packaging. Really, really nice. This is solid too, really great. All right, looks like I'm gonna have to get some clippers and clip all this out. And here's where all the bolts and instructions probably are. Okay. Lay this down here. Box of goodies here. Snipping going on here. Woo! Okay. Very foldable. <laughs> Get that out of there. All right. More foam padding, nice. Instructions. Zip ties for all the wires, very cool. The, uh, the Allen wrench here, a couple Allen keys here, all kinds of bolts and washers and screws. Instruction manual going and piece by piece, build this up. So I'll be back when I got it all put together. I'll show you guys. All right, be right back.
So guys, this is fantastic. So far it's working out perfect. All the extra bolts they give you here are perfectly fitted for the Logitech uh, uh, accessory. So this is fantastic. All the holes are lining up. All the bolts are working perfectly. So, so far so awesome. Very sturdy too, this is great. All right guys, here it is, all put together, and uh, it is pretty badass, I love it. It's compact, folds away, sturdy, strong, and it's exactly meant for this type of racing wheel, it's perfect. See on the side here, got the wire maintenance going, so I use the straps to keep the wires on the side, and then the main USB to go to the PS5 there. All secure, tight, not wiggling or jiggling. There's the back of it. Perfect spot for the shifter here, nice and secure. You can adjust it forward and back to wherever you're more comfortable with. And then of course the uh, steering wheel, you can pivot up and down, tilt it. And then of course you can raise this up and down if you need to go higher or lower. And then the pedals, I uh, put them on the lowest setting. There's a little lock here on the side, right here. Take that, unhook it. Make sure your wire is not caught, of course. And then you can spread this out here. <clears throat> okay. It'll take me a few tries to get used to that. So you basically just open it up like that. And you're set to race. Pedals are perfect, steering wheel, everything is perfect, guys. Compact, strong, and you can lock it in, tighten it if you want more, and you're good to go. So I'm gonna hook this up in front of my uh, racing and uh, let's get it going, guys. All right, Raft Gang, we have the rig set up. The steering wheel setup is awesome. Got the pedals down there, steering wheel, and the shifter right there. And I'm about to uh, plug it into the PS5 and then go play some Gran Turismo. Uh, unfortunately, my camera probably won't capture this. Let me see if I can back up the camera. All right, guys, so I have the steering wheel plugged into the front of the PS5. You gotta press the PlayStation button on the, the steering wheel to trigger the, uh, the controls to work off of the, the racing stick. So go ahead and select Gran Turismo. First time playing Gran Turismo. Honestly, I think this is like the first time I've ever played Gran Turismo. I've always been racing on Xbox, so this is brand new for me. Oh man, this is so cool. All right. Okay, we'll pick that. Welcome to Gran Turismo. We now set up your basic controls. Uh, preferred type of steering. Okay. Uh, motion. What about steering wheels? Oh, oh man. All right, so that's really cool. So when you're in the grass and stuff, the wheel gives you some tension. So you can actually feel it, really nice. See ya. It says break. Oh buddy. Everything feels sturdy on the uh, on the rig here. All right, guys, I'm gonna end it right now. But the Insignia stand is an absolute fire winner for performance, build quality, simplicity of, of hookup. All the bolts you need is there. Fold it away, put it away, bring it out, use it. It's fantastic. Very sturdy. Great adjustment for height and where to put the shifter and the pedals. Perfect placement. Absolute fire win, five out of five stars for this. And uh, if you wanna pick yourself up one, I'll leave a link in the description below, but it's been sold out, so it's gonna be hard to find one. But other than that, 
I'm really glad I got a racing wheel. Now I just gotta get this fine tuned for GTA and uh, get ready for some VR action with racing. Can't wait. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share to see the next one. Home theater rules. Get your race on. Raph out. See ya.